Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I want to talk to you about my experience moving my WordPress website to Kinsta. Now look, Kinsta has this claim on their website, and I'll read it to you directly. It says, boost your WordPress site speed up to 200% just by moving to Kinsta. Now, I wanted to put this to the test, and that is exactly what I did. <music> All right guys, so just some quick groundwork here before we get into the results of the site speed test. My old website was hosted on Namecheap and their data centers are located in Phoenix, Arizona. Now while Kinsta has 22 data center locations around the world, the closest data center to Phoenix was Salt Lake City, Utah. So that's where I ended up moving my website to. But before I moved my website, I ran a series of 100 page speed tests using an open source suite of tools called sitespeed.io from a test server in Miami to my WordPress website back in Phoenix. Now, just for some context, my website is a serial blog and it had some basic WordPress plugins installed to help me with optimization such as caching and minification. But the thing about Kinsta is they don't actually allow caching plugins on their hosting platform because caching is done at the server level. Okay, so Kinsta runs on Nginx and Nginx takes care of caching for you as opposed to a higher level WordPress plugin. I also utilized some additional optimizations on Kinsta, such as using their CDN, enabling their premium DNS servers, and using the latest version of PHP, which was 7.4. And finally, with everything ready to go on Kinsta, I ran the same set of 100 page speed tests from the test server in Miami to the Kinsta data center in Salt Lake City. All right, guys, with the results in, let's look at some of the speed test measurements that I got from this comparison. So first off, right off the bat, server response time. Namecheap had on average across the 100 page speed tests a response time of 213 milliseconds, while Kinsta really crushed it with a response time of just 59 milliseconds. Next up, the first paint. For Namecheap, that was 814 milliseconds on average. Kinsta not too far behind with 737 milliseconds. And finally, and probably most importantly, the page load time. On average, Namecheap loaded its pages 2.193 seconds, while on the other hand, Kinsta loaded its pages in just 1.323 seconds. So yeah, there you guys go. Across the board, Kinsta outperformed my old hosting company. It wasn't the, you know, up to 200% that Kinsta said on their website, but it was a modest 40% faster. And as you guys know, every second counts, every millisecond counts when it comes to page speed. And the coolest thing I think is that it got me down below that two second threshold, which Google recommends for websites to load their entire page, which is really good in my book. So guys, this was just one set of tests that I ran on Kinsta. This channel is all about site speed, SEO, helping you get your business online. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do subscribe, I will see you in the next video.